Y'all, it has been quite a week on the internet. I'm mind blown right now. Party Partisan Fontaine has just dropped a diss track towards Megan Thee Stallion, and I had to come and do this, and we have to uh, react to this like ASAP, ASAP. I'm gonna put the link to the diss in the um, what's it called, video description. If you haven't heard it, please go hear it. Party is spilling all the tea. I he's like vindicating Tory Lanes. Okay, he exposes Megan for messing with her producer Lil Ju made the beat. Y'all know Megan and Lil Ju have came up together. They are both from Houston, Texas, I believe. So, and he's also worked with her. Oh, well, he was definitely working with her in some way or fashion in her latest project, Cobra, because, you know, like he was in that video, the first video she did where she said, I'm independent and we got to run it up hotties and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, one thing that I love about this is that he's naming names and making, which makes it a direct shot. So you know exactly who he, who he's talking about and what he's talking about. He named Megan's former hairstylist, Kellan, says that she fell out with him and a whole bunch of other people. Um, he says, like one of his bars says, you spent hours on glam and not a blemish, but still no foundation. As in Megan, you have no foundation. You have no substance. You are working. You don't even know who you are, right? Um, she says like, a new album you need a new villain it's a new way for you to play the victim there's always a villain in Megan's story right like it's always either Tori it's it's Kelsey and now it's him you know so it's just like okay cool now about the cheating rumors or what cheating allegations rather that Megan made on him in Cobra he basically said that um I wrote it down how many times did I catch you texting other men you did it you did you first I just did me bigger now now when it comes to cheating I don't know if I endorse oh you did it and then so I do it like two wrongs don't make a right but hey <laughs> neither here or there he said it not me um he says he found out with the rest of the world um I I think when it comes to Megan sleeping with other men such as the baby and even maybe Tori as well because he referenced her doing the Gail King interview and lying to the world um and lying in that interview and that's really why Megan lied in that interview because that time he did not know right and he found out with the rest of the world so it's like we all knew before the truth came out when Megan got on the stand and said that she um was what's it called like she was intimate with Tori we all knew that that was the truth based on how she hesitated to answer the question and how she uh, shot the question back at Gail when she asked her the question in the interview and party is saying he found out what the rest of the rest of the world it was just crazy now he's confirming everything that I said in my last video guys we is on the fem rap politics playlist right now I didn't even give a proper intro because I'm just my mind is all over the place literally three days ago I literally just uploaded a um a video on Megan's Cobra and everything that she is not taking accountability for yeah so go make sure you guys check that out on the fem rap politics playlist please like the video and subscribe to the channel as well shout out to everybody for coming through and watching this video and so anyway he said um she let Lil Ju hit and never um and then also you know party was cool with him after that even though he knew it and didn't say anything about it party said he still overlooked that he said he asked her straight up did she sleep with them dudes so i was like do what kind of dudes dudes from the industry and um he said that megan swore on her mother this is everything that he's saying in the diss y'all okay um he said he picked out a ring for her he had intentions on marrying megan and he said ask greg una i've never heard of greg una before he's probably a jeweler um so i said that already that's why she lied because P party didn't know he said this ain't for megan the stallion it's for meg the person how many times did i catch you texting other men you did you first i just did me bigger how you want grace but lack empathy this is the biggest argument when it comes to megan the stallion because like she just never ever ever takes accountability never ever she never tells the truth y'all swear to god that megan be telling the truth sharing her truth and y'all swear that anybody who's against megan the stallion is not for women is not for black women oh the, the video idea i was just working on it's gonna be about like this cassie did it situation in comparison to this megan tory situation please subscribe to the channel because that is coming sooner than you even think because i was literally just working on it but yeah like um 
you lack empathy you never can see and any people's any other person's point of view you never see what you did in the situation it's always about somebody else and it's crazy because everybody is saying the same thing about you megan everybody is not lying party said is it depression or is it hostility she said she got a depressed p okay and that's so i had to write um megan you are never going to catch a bit because everybody's gonna be like oh poor meg poor meg poor meg she's getting attacked by drake nikki um partisan fontaine everybody like you megan you are not going to catch a break a break until you give accountability for your role in every and all situations and also like oh i'm not even gonna read the disc because i really don't even care i'm just gagging at all of the tea that was spilt okay and everybody want to be like oh partisan ain't issue all of that stuff like nah like if it was somebody else like y'all would have been gassing it you know so it's just like yo i really wonder y'all know partisan is cardi's long time writer and i always felt like it was weird how like now all of a sudden party writing for cardi and now um party is with meg and now Meg is not with Party and all of this is happening. And Megan, I mean, Cardi, you pledging allegiance to Meg. That's your friend and all of that stuff. You going to still work with Party? <laughs> is he still going to write your album? Like, are we going to draw lines in the sand? Are we going to draw lines in the sand? This is what we talk about when it comes to fem rap politics. Are we drawing lines in the sand? Are you going to choose um, Megan over Party or is business business? Or oh, girl, you need a writer that bad. You need a writer that bad to write your raps. Let, let me know. Oh, I can't wait to see what you guys think. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what you guys think what do you guys think of the bars what do you guys think because this is why i'm gagging right it's because when it comes to that trial and i'm gonna link all of the videos that i did on the trial right i only speak facts and it's like when it comes to that trial and what the outcome of that trial was I always said, even when the trial was happening, we will never get to the truth because Megan is not going to tell it. It has to be Kelsey. It has to be Tori. It has to be, it has to be somebody else because Megan will never tell the truth. And that's why I'm gagging because now we find out, even though Party is not in that situation and this is like, um, you know, it's not like, I'm not really trying to like harp on the Megan and Tori situation. I'm really just trying to illustrate that it has to be, when Megan is in a situation, it has to be the other person who comes out with the truth because Megan will never tell the truth and finally we are getting some truth when it comes to that situation like what is happening what did you tell party what did you not tell party you never told party that you slept with the baby and you had party out here going back and forth with the baby looking stupid you know like you oh wow yeah so um I think that's all I had to say on that. Like, I was just going crazy. So, um, please like the video if you're still here. Um, please let me know your thoughts on everything. Please type P-A-R-D-I, type party in the comments. If you made it to the end of the video, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because, girl, my next video, crazy. Um, yeah, so I need you guys here on this fem rap politics playlist. So, child, save that to your um, library, please. Okay, thanks. Bye.